All right, everybody, welcome to the Zabe Cast, brought to you by Line and Kugels. Zabe, Scotty, Al, Solly, DJ AM, no longer signing. We call him DJ PM now. He's no longer That's with unnecessary. us. That's unnecessary. What does that and it's mean? It's like Tylenol PM. It could knock you out and kill you. Well, DJ, who the hell was DJ AM, by uh, the way? One of Galdi's people named Adam Goldstein. Yeah. He was uh, what you, you know, a celebrity DJ. Got hotel gigs, club gigs, and was. Dated Nicole Richie for a while. Yes. I believe that, that was his claim to fame, huh? Pretty much. Mm-hmm. All right. So, anyway, MTV is a bit screwed here, you say? Uh, yes. I'll, I'll read you directly from the uh, TV column in the Washington Post. Flax dealing with the death of an allegedly sober recovering addict DJ fame seeker who was going to host a TV series in which kids were recruited to show how they inject heroin into their veins and work their way through withdrawal. What? Have now asked the media to respect the privacy of the guy's family now that he's been found dead. So in other words, well, DJ AM rich. had a show scheduled on MTV. He had apparently taped, uh, MTV had shot eight episodes of the reality series Gone Too Far, in which young addicts are recruited to demonstrate to producers how they inject heroin into their veins, huff spray paint, or whatever the drug ingestion Oof. system of choice is, uh, after which Goldstein, with AM, of course, would use some tough love, trademark tough love, <laughs> to persuade them on camera in front of an Say, audience. Say, hey, come on, get straight, yeah, even though he rehab. at the same time was overdosing. Of course, now, he was found dead uh, a couple weeks ago Friday in a Manhattan apartment with uh, paraphernalia on him. Mm. Interesting how that worked out, huh? Yeah, boy, that's, uh, that's a show that's going to have a hard time making it to air. They, they've told Oops. you know they've already shot eight episodes. Uh, what, what do you do here? I guess do you, does the show go on? Do who you are the stop? most? Do you... Who are the most famous DJs in history? Jazzy Jeff, yeah, DJ Jazzy Jeff. Yeah, he's one. He would definitely. I mean, you who know, else are the kids like Galdi? You're the youngest on the set here. Uh, Samantha Ronson, right? Yeah, oh, Samantha Ronson. I, I, you, DJ you Shadow. I've heard of him. DJ who? Shadow. Shadow's big. I mean, you go back to like '80s hip hop, and a lot of those guys started off that way. Really? So you you would yeah. I mean, there's a whole list of people like that. So. And they really play records, huh? Back in the day, they did. Now it's Kid Rock was now a DJ. Now what do they do? Yeah, put their, they put their iPod on yeah, and go, it, it, well, hey, give me a cocktail, please. It's, it's, it's a lot of its computers now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, DJs uh, you know, are, are, are a dime a dozen. Do they make their own much. set list? Yeah, I think they do. I think they consult with the bride and uh, get a wedding set do list. Do they go, watch this. I'm about to follow Blister in the Sun with Celebration. The kids are going to love it. Do they still wear the big headphones and <laughs> dance around behind the mic and... F- Spin records? I uh, guess so. I, I did see pictures of DJ AM, and he had a Mac and a couple other things yeah. and some iPods. And, yeah, these these guys all have iPods Harrowingly survived with... a plane crash, remember, last year. That's right. Yeah, I know. Travis Barker of, of Blink-182. Yeah. Well, maybe he should have been in Final Destination 4 because he cheated death by surviving the plane crash, and death said... Uh, no, you don't, DJ AM. Yeah. I'm coming for Get you. Get back like, here, AM. Yeah, Get like, back here. You're not You're not getting away that easy. Like Don Beebe running down Leon Lett in the Super Bowl. He <laughs> yeah, got him. Death, right. If death could run down somebody with its uh, black cape and, and sickle, mm-hmm. it would do that and say, not so fast, my friend. Okay, well, uh, look for that show to never make air, which is really what, Quite frankly, with Stephen A. Smith, should have done oh, never God. make not air. for the same reason. Not but, for the same reasons, yeah, but someone still, someone should have given Stephen A. tough love and said, "This said, is you're... not the way to do it." Said, "Quite frankly, Stephen A., you don't know what you're talking about." Show canceled. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.